So I've been processing all my own meat for the last probably about 10 years and I just prefer to do it myself because man you spend so much time in the field taking care of the meat, making sure it's super clean, getting it on ice as soon as possible that it's it's hard to then you know take it out of the field and then take it to a processor or someone else and have them take care of it just because you're not entirely sure like how clean they're gonna be and I would, you know, I would just rather be in full control of that process. That said, like my process is very simple. So once the meat is off the bone, I just separate the meat into its into the different muscle groups. Once I have things separated, I'll just figure out like, okay, like what do I wanna do with each of these cuts of meat? And so big piece like this, like this is gonna be a great, great one to turn into steak. This one will also be great for steaks. A thinner piece like this, I'm probably gonna either slice it up into little cubes and probably throw it in my burger pile or um, I'll make stew meat out of it. So I'm just gonna run through a couple quick little tips that I use when I'm butchering meat. So first tip, got my cutting board here and underneath the cutting board, I have a wet piece of paper towel. What this does is when I put the cutting board on it, it won't slip and slide around. If there, if the paper towel wasn't on here, you know, I'd get a piece of meat on, and I'd be cutting and this, this uh, cutting board would just be slipping and sliding all over. So wet piece of paper towel underneath your cutting board will help it kind of glue it to the table. And my second little trick, uh, another wet piece of paper towel. When I am over here and I'm like plucking little pieces of hair and stuff off the meat, like it'll get stuck to my hands and I'll, I'll be trying to flick it in the garbage, but it'll just stick to my fingers. What I can do instead is I can just come over to this towel and I can just wipe it off right on the towel. And a wet paper towel, it just, it comes off and it stays on the towel. So that piece I was working on there, that was just a small portion of one of the hindquarters. And out of it, I got a bunch of steaks right here. These are little piles of stew meat. And then this is a uh, big pot of burger. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all this burger, I'm gonna put it into one gallon Ziplocs and then freeze it and grind it at a later date. And then I'm just gonna package the steaks and stew meat. So my process for packaging meat is super simple. I wrap it twice, first with just plastic wrap, and then after I wrap it in there, I wrap it in freezer paper. And uh, like double wrapping it like this, I mean, it'll stay just fine in your freezer for multiple years. I mean, I, I was eating a steak the other day from 2015, which is four years old, and it was not freezer burnt and it tasted wonderful. And this is just my process. Like in an ideal world, I would have a big like commercial grade vacuum sealer. Those things are super slick. Saran wrap with freezer paper uh, works really well for me. <laughs> The last thing to do is label the meat. Hope this has been an informative vlog for you. It's been a pretty crazy elk season so far. I filled my tag obviously, but the season is still young and I've got a bunch of buddies out there that are still hunting. So I'm gonna finish processing uh, this elk and then I'm gonna head back out into the woods and see what I can do with the camera. So we'll see you next time.